Hello, I'm Howard Nations. I have the privilege of working very closely with the excellent firm of Moriarty and Leyendecker in handling hip implant litigation. We're particularly focused on the recently recalled Depew ASR. We've created an animation to help demonstrate what exactly is wrong with the uh, implant and what, can, what kind of complications can we expect off of it. Now, the way the body's designed, you have the femoral head fitting into the acetabulum. And as the, as the function wears down over the years and you had abuse and fractures and things of that nature, sometimes it becomes necessary to replace these uh, with total hip replacement surgery. Now, this involves in replacing the femoral head, as you see, and replacing the acetabulum with a prosthetic device. The particular prosthetic device we're concerned about in this litigation is the Depew ASR. It's a two-component device which consists of the acetabular cup and the femoral head and then the femoral stem. The acetabular cup fits into a cleaned-out acetabulum. The femoral stem goes down into the femoral bone and then the two uh, function uh, as the original design. In this particular case, with the ASR, both of these components are made of metal. It's called MOM, metal on metal. And due to the design of the articulation, the large amounts of friction can occur between the head and the cup in this metal on metal design. Now, the friction leads to some real problems that you have to be concerned about. Metal on metal friction causes wear to the prosthetic parts resulting in the creation of metallic debris. And this metallic debris is dangerous on several levels. First of all, you have the problem with metallosis, which we will talk about later. But secondly, the metallic debris comes out in the form of particles, and it also comes out in the form of ions. The particles can affect the interface between the cup and the acetabulum and lead to more wear and it compromises the bony end growth, which is the, the, the style of this design, and, and keeps it from holding the cup in place. So you get a loose cup. But then more importantly, the debris also falls into the blood in the form of ions. So the metallic debris enters the tissue surrounding the implant, it, it, it enters the muscles, and the metallic ions enter the bloodstream. You get symptoms such as swelling, pain in the hip, the groin, and the leg. You get limited mobility, and you get clicking or audible noise that you can hear from the hip area. The elevated metallic ion levels in the blood and the urine may also have problematic uh, effects in the long term. These symptoms and the implant instability often require revision surgery. Here at the Howard Nations Law Firm, we look forward to working with Moriarty and Leyendecker in representing your interest against Depew. Call Moriarty and Leyendecker at 1-800-677-7095 and visit their website at www.moriarty.com.